Hi everyone, it's Olivia here for my Cast Off Thursday video. I have a lot to talk about, so I'm going to try to get through all of it in a reasonable amount of time. And a lot of this probably isn't very craft or it's craft related, but not knitting related. Um, so the only finished knitting product that I have for the week is that blanket because it is going to be a gift for my cousin's wedding, which is this weekend, and I finished it just a few minutes ago, honestly, and threw it in the wash quick. And so that is done, and I will include pictures of that um, at the end of this video. I guess I'll have to wait until it's done being washed to do that. And um, the other thing I finished isn't knitting related, but it is this, which is a bow bouquet. So here's the other side of it. So I guess it's tradition that at a bridal shower, you give gifts to the bride, and then you take the bows from all of the gifts, and you make a bouquet for her to use as kind of a practice bouquet at the rehearsal dinner or the rehearsal ceremony, whatever. And so I, everyone in my family considers me to be the crafty person. So they said, Olivia, you should do this. And I've never seen one of these before, and I didn't really know what I was doing, but this is what I came up with. Which is apparently, I guess you can't really see it, I wrapped it with some ribbon that was on one of the presents here. Um, but I guess this isn't really traditionally what people do with these, but I think it still looks kind of cool. So what I did was, I took, oh I have these. I have this sitting on my desk. So I took something like these, these fake flowers, and I just ripped the flower part off. and. Um, sorry, I'm reaching. And so I ripped all of these off, which I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to have to think of something creative. But in their stead, I put the bows from the presents. And I had to make some interesting bows like this, whatever the heck this is. This isn't really a bow. <laughs> it's too... Okay, so the ribbon I used for the stem, it's not showing up very well. That's a little better. It's kind of a clear with a silver on the edge. But anyway, so there were three of these long ribbons like that, and I didn't know what to do with them because they weren't in bows. They were just strings. So I wrapped one around the base, and then I took the other two and kind of made this weird bow thing. And I left a few of the flowers in there. You'll see there's one here, and then there's um, one peeping down here. But the rest of them are just, and this, whatever the heck this is, I made this, um, this guy, also from just a ribbon. It doesn't look very wonderful, but it's not, excuse me, it's not good enough to make a nice bow. So I just kind of did what I could. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I think it's supposed to be kind of whimsical and, you know, not really classy because it's just kind of a fun thing. So I hope she likes it. And I'll probably, I have a little bit left from the gift, so I have this ribbon left over. So I might take one of the flowers that I ripped off and then do something with this for kind of a fake, um, they call boutonnieres, the flowers that men pin to their suit jackets. I don't know. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. But I think I'm going to make something like that for her soon-to-be husband, Ian. Yeah, her boyfriend's also named Ian. Fiance, not boyfriend. Um, but so that is a large thing what I've been doing. But also, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in another one of my videos, but my boyfriend Ian and I both go to college together. And there's this program that we both applied for called the Live to Garden program, and we both got positions, which was really cool for the summer. So what we do is we garden for 10 hours a week in the Student Organic Garden, which is huge, and it's just this awesome thing that provides food for the people that garden in it. And we also sell some of our produce to the food company that produces food for the school and the food service building, which is super cool. So they buy things. Ah! Sorry, I just knocked something over. Um... So they buy food from us that's locally, organically grown, and it's really good produce, and everyone benefits from it. So that's really cool that um, the company does that. 
but they have these positions. There were six positions total, and I think they only hired five people. I think ten people applied, and they hired five people. And Ian and I were both one of the five. So for ten hours a week, we garden, and then in exchange, we get to live in a dorm for the summer, which is what you're seeing behind me is my new dorm room. I feel like a freshman again. <laughs> I just finished my fourth year of college, and I, sorry, I keep knocking this. I'm just getting overly excited. Um, I just finished my fourth year, and I finished up with two degrees, and then I'm staying an extra year to get my third, which will be in education, because I want to be a teacher, a secondary ed teacher, so high school or middle school. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm technically, I'm kind of graduated right now with just two degrees, but I, I want to get a third, so I'm finishing up a fifth year to get a third degree. Um, but so we're staying on campus over the summer, and since I already work in Morris in the summer anyway, it's kind of perfect, so I'll work 40 hours during the day, and then I work 10 hours at night gardening, which has been really fun. We just planted um, potatoes yesterday night and this morning, which was really cool. So I, I've never, I've never really had much of a garden before. I had a little fake garden in my backyard last year where I grew some watermelon. That were actually really tasty and some beans, but I'd never, I don't really know anything about gardening. But this is kind of more of a learning experience from the kids that already, the other people that already know a lot, which is really cool. And I'm excited about learning about organic methods of farming because I think that um, it's really good to farm sustainably. And I think that's everything. I'm just so excited that I can knit what I want now. <laughs> I've been, uh, this blanket hasn't really been a bad knit at all. Which, by the way, the link will be below. But it's just, I'm not an obligation knitter. I don't like um, knitting things that I have to. As soon as I have to finish something by a certain date, it kind of just gets less fun for me and that's unfortunate but it's totally the truth so what I've kind of realized is for Christmas gifts and stuff I need to just make people what I want to make them and they can either like it or not and at least I still enjoyed making it because when I take orders from people for things they want for Christmas I usually just end up wanting to shoot myself in the face so I I just as soon prefer to knit what I want to knit and then they can get whatever. So it's, I usually just kind of like make a bunch of stuff and let people pick from whatever I've made to give themselves their gift. And, you know, that way I know they like what they get. But yes, yeah, so that's, that's the update on my life and my crafting. So I hope you guys are all having a really great week. If you want to check out the other cast off crew members, their links are in the description box below. So you should go check out the other people. We have a re really talented group of people. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.